<laughs> that. All right, let's get things started here on this um, holiday weekend. The 4th of July is all about backyard barbecue. And no one does it better than Brian's Black Mountain Barbecue in Cave Creek. So we invited the owner and chef Brian Dooley to join us in the studio to kick things off on this long holiday weekend. That's oh, great to be here. We're in rare form. <laughs> yes. Yes, you can tell. Yes. You can no, tell. Well, thanks for the big spread, first sure. and foremost. Sure. Um, what are we working on here? Uh, well, when I think about 4th of July, I think about family type foods. So what I wanted to do was something that my family did, or still does actually, um, and I call it Shrimp Evelyn after my grandmother. Oh, I like it already. Um, and it's just sort of my take on what she used to do. Okay. So um, it's a real simple dish, but it's going to be like a one big plate dish where you put it in the middle of the table, everybody sits there, peels shrimp. and. Let's talk a little bit about the primary ingredients mm -hmm. so that everybody knows to what to look for in their fridge. Okay. Um, it's real simple. It's sort of a Cajun style. Um, it's just going to start with a Cajun mirepoix, which is celery, onions, and green peppers. Okay. Um, we have the shrimp itself. I have some tomatoes, some lemons, uh, some of my secret spice from the restaurant, mm -hmm. uh, beer, of course, and some rice. Looks and like a little garlic, too? And a little or garlic, is that for yeah. something else? No, this is going to be for this. Okay. So, uh, Grandma Evelyn has made this as you were growing up? She made a, uh, yeah, a very similar item. I've kind is of she in New Orleans? Uh, no, she was from uh, Chicago. Oh, okay, she was yes, from it was close. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, how do we so, get it started? Okay, so what we're going to do is we start with a nice big saute pan here. We start with a little bit of olive oil. <clears throat> nice hot. Um, and then we put our celery and green peppers right in there. Now, is this intended to be uh, served chilled or warm? Oh, no, this will be warm. Okay. Yeah. Oh, and then also uh, four tablespoons of butter. All right. We want to saute that up real nice. It's going to take a little while to do that, um, but while that's starting, um, I'm going to cut the onion. And this is pretty much the easiest way to slice an onion, just put it on its side like that. I like the color of a red onion, but I, that really, I really love the flavor of a scallion. And isn't that, that's a nice color also. I'll put this right in here, just like that. And so we're going to keep it in big pieces um, yeah, so this is going to saute down to a nice okay. soft. So we really want to cook this until it gets nice and soft. All the vegetables will turn translucent and it gets really soft. Okay. Okay, so obviously I can't do that right now. Um, so then after that, what I do is I add my garlic. Let that cook for a little bit longer. Totally unrelated, but just to give Grandma Evelyn a shout out, what's your fondest memory of her? Probably cooking. I, I yeah. probably got the cooking bug from her. Um, when I was a kid, I, I cooked with my grandparents. My whole family is great cooks, but oh, yeah? I probably uh, she probably put the, the whole idea in my head of you know becoming, becoming a chef. A chef. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, It's always nice to know where people get that. You know, um, sometimes it's they're inspired by you know one dish that they had. Mm -hmm. Sometimes they just didn't want to do anything else. <laughs> well, this is one that she kind of made up on the fly, and like I said, I've I've kind of over the years kind of made it my own. Yeah. And uh, kind of barbecuedified it. So that's what I'm going to do here. This because is because that's uh, what you do well. Now this is a nice. Um, Kind of a spice and rub. This is my spice rub, uh, which is right here um, from Brian's Barbecue. This is six oh, tablespoons. Oh, it's that one. I have that. Oh, people, this is really good stuff. Six tablespoons of my spice rub, and that's what's kind of going to make the gravy. There's lots of chili powder and other spices in here that's going to really thicken this up. The prominent flavor isn't the chili pepper, though. I, I don't no. know. I couldn't put my finger on what it is, but it doesn't taste like spicy hot. And then we add one whole beer. Oh, wait. I have a question. Mm -hmm. Um, was the spice rub, is that something that your grandmother no, no, did? No, no, that's, that's or you, mine. You've added to your grandmother's she used, recipe. Yeah, she used okay. other items, you know, seafood seasoning and paprika and things okay. like that. Okay, so and I, did she pour the beer in it too? No. Okay, I was just curious. <laughs> no. This is kind of, yeah. I wanted to see how you really grew up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, obviously this would be sauteed a little bit more than that. And then we would add our shrimp okay. to that. Well, through the magic of TV, we're going to yep. kind of come over here to the right, and this is essentially what, how, how long would it get to, to, to this stage? Oh, about 10 minutes. Take about 10 minutes to get yeah. to this stage, and then we stick it in a pot and we serve it over so a little then, bit of rice? Yeah, so then what I have is a big platter here. Ooh. Put a big pile of rice in the middle, and then we pour, you can dump that okay, right on Okay, I don't know if I can, look, look how I'm having to hold this, like I'm having to support right. it on my... Okay. <laughs> don't drop our lunch. <laughs> this and sucker then, is heavy, heavy. And then what I like to serve with that is some nice crusty bread, just like this. So, 
Okay, is that, would you say that's enough? Because I sure. think my bicep's going to get out. <laughs> sure. Okay. <laughs> and I'm not kidding. <laughs> oh, my goodness. All right, well, we want everybody to stick around because um, he's going to stay with us for the rest of the show. We're going to have a couple little other recipes, um, some inspiration perhaps for your barbecue that's coming up.